Hello everyone. Today we are going to see about an important criteria for flexible payment analysis as per IRC 37 2018. First of all, these are the various layers of flexible payment which includes subgrade, subbase, base, binder and surface course and the respective range of thickness are provided starting from subgrade thickness which will be about 500 mm. Here from the base course to the subgrade it will be of granular layers and the top layers of surface and binder course will be viscoelastic in nature. The term viscoelastic means the bitumen behaves as a viscous fluid during high temperature and as an elastic solid during low temperature. There are various distresses occurring in flexible and rigid payments that affects the performance of the payment. But in analysis of flexible payments, only two distresses are mainly considered, namely subgrade rutting and fatigue cracking. So let's see about rutting and fatigue cracking. Rut is in vertical deformation along the wheel path due to continuous loading that causes excessive strain. Whereas in fatigue cracking, there are a series of interconnected cracks caused due to the repeated cycles of traffic load. This picture explains the critical locations to be considered. The fatigue cracking of thin pavements, the cracking begins at the bottom of HMA layer, that is hot mix asphalt layer, and propagates to the surface, which is called bottom of cracking, which mostly occurs during the daytime. So the bottom of the binder layer is considered as a critical point. In rutting phenomenon, due to the higher temperature, there will be a vertical comp compressive strain at the subgrade, where the pavement starts settling into the subgrade, causing subgrade rutting, which majorly occurs. And another type of rutting, called as mixed rutting, occurs due to the improper mixed design and compaction. So the upper layer of the subgrade is considered as an another critical point. One at the center of the dual wheel and one at the center of the single wheel are considered as critical points. Next, the criteria given in uh, IRC 2018 provides the permissible strain that the payment can withstand. The actual stresses and strain will be calculated using IAT PAVE, which is an analysis software used in flexible payment, which will be explained in following videos. In the rutting criteria, the EV, that is the permissible vertical strain is calculated where NR is the cumulative traffic in MSA, that is millions uh, standard axles, before the maximum value of allowable rut is attained, that is of 20 mm. In case of fatigue, it is 20% of the paved area. Here two equations are provided for 80 and 90% of reliability, of which 90% reliability is commonly used for design traffic greater than or equal to 20 MSA. If it's less than 20 MSA, 80 percentage reliability equations can be used. Same as rutting, IRC has provided equations to calculate horizontal tensile strain, that is ET, at the bottom of HMA. Here, MRM is the resilient modulus of the bituminous mix, which, is, which will be discussed in the next lecture which, with its determination for various layers. These equations are obtained through performance models with R6 and R56, which are research schemes. CTB layers, that is cement treated bases, are stabilized layers with the use of cementitious materials such as cement, fly ash, etc. If CTB layers are being used, fatigue performance criteria and cumulative fatigue damage criteria must be considered from which tensile strain and st tensile stresses are calculated. In cumulative fatigue analysis, the cumulative ratio of Ni and NFI must be less than 1. If greater than 1, the payment needs to be redesigned. Thank you.